We are here in Acapulco, Mexico, and currently we are at the Mercado de la Progreso, and this neighborhood is right by Centro. They're famous for the bolillo relleno and chilate. The chilate is a cacao drink, and the bolillo relleno is a torta with uh, pork or chicken and a bunch of vegetables. Yeah, so that's uh, usually on Sundays they have it, but I've heard you can get it any day here at the Mercado. So yeah, let's go take a look and see what we could find. We got our first bolillo relleno, and this one is from Susie's. Right as we walked in to the left, we found her. Yeah, the, this was full this morning at 7 a.m., and it's about 10, no, almost 11, and she's getting close to being sold out. Yeah, this has pork with a mixture of potatoes, carrots, pineapple, grape, um, a little bit of skin, some chilies, and then she pours a bunch of juice on it. So yeah, and this is only 30 pesos or $1.50. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna get a lot of bread the first bite. Mm. Oh. Very good torta. It's nice and hearty. You get a lot of bread, but there's nice pieces of pork in here. All the vegetables, the chilies. That very good flavor. Very juicy, very filling, and it's it's small, but it's only 30 pesos. So yeah, this has a lot of things in it. There's pork, there's a mixture of vegetables with potato, carrot, um, grapes. Yeah, they just put it all in there. They put some these peppers. They put a little mixture of the carrots and the vinegar. It makes it spicy and a little bit of skin right here. I don't know how many we're gonna eat today, but. We're gonna try a bunch of them. Our next stop was Las Cabanas, right next door to Susie's, and they're actually related. So there's no real big competition, but uh, here at Las Cabanas, they say the grandma started selling the bolillos in the 60s when the Mercado first opened. So this is grandma's recipe. So we're gonna see how it differs from Susie's over there. It looks similar, it's got a lot of the same uh, ingredients. Las Cabanas looks a little more greasy. The sauce is a little darker. Yeah, so I think there's gonna be a little more flavor in this one. Let's give it a try. Mm. Yeah, so there's a slight difference. Not too much, but I guess it uh, depends on the cooking process. They use a wood oven from four to six hours to cook the pork and all the vegetables. But yeah, they're very similar. Both excellent and both 30 pesos or $1.50. So yeah, that's a great deal and it's pretty filling. I'm almost full already. I've only taken a few bites of each. Now some of the locals say we should try with a chalate or a jolly to drink. So we're gonna go see if we can find some now. So this Mercado has a, a small section of food, but it looks like mostly uh, products that they sell. But we're gonna try yeah, some of the food here, uh, some of the other stalls, but yeah, it's very good. Los esperamos en relleno tradicional Los Cabañas, ubicados en el interior del Mercado de la Progreso, local 249. Mi Instagram es relleno Los Cabanas y mi Facebook es relleno tradicional Los Cabañas. Just a few steps from the Bolillo Rieno, we found the Chilate at Chilateria Lusterito. And they recommend this drink to go along with the Bolillo. And Chilate is a, it's a rice drink with cacao and cinnamon. And they make it into a paste and mix it with water. So you can buy the paste here and take it home and make your own, or just buy a cup here. This is 25 pesos or just over a dollar. So we're gonna give this a try. Oh, it's like cinnamon water with a little bit of chocolate taste. Not 
Yeah, different than horchata. Maybe a little similar, a little more chocolatey. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's pretty refreshing. So this is the paste you can buy. Uh, they explain the whole process, how they make the paste. And you can take this home, make it yourself. And it's uh, pretty inexpensive, like 80 pesos or $4 to make two liters so yeah here's where they actually mix everything and they just finished before we got here so we missed the process but they just mix it all and they have it ready to sell it's nice it's all uh, handmade yeah they grind all the ingredients in another place and then bring it here and mix it all together so yeah very good uh, it's artisanal chilate so we keep finding more places to eat here and originally we we're just gonna try the bolillo and the chilate but yeah the girls at the chilate place recommended chelis tacos and they have suadero and tripa so i don't like tripa but fernando does so he's gonna have the tripa but we're gonna try the jolly uh, lemon soda as well so it's only five tacos for 60 pesos so five for three dollars good deal but we'll see how they are So we got our tacos. It's five for 60, but we decided to get four suadero and two tripa. But here's the suadero with the pico de gallo, which is our specialty here. In Mexico, you usually don't put pico de gallo on suadero, but here it's one of their specialties. So we'll give this a try. Mm. Ooh. This pico de gallo is hot. Diane tastes a suadero. So I put a lot because usually it's not this hot, but let me just try a little bit of the meat. Mmm. Nice flavor, very tender. The texture is very soft, not greasy at all, but the pico de gallo is spicy, <laughs> but it's good. And pico de gallo, if you don't know, it's a mixture of tomatoes, onions, and green chilies. There's some uh, cilantro. But one of my favorite salsas, uh, especially when they put a lot of chilies, which this one they do. So, very good. And here at this little taqueria, they brought us our own set of salsas, pico de gallo, and limons. So it was very nice service and very good tacos. This is my first time trying Yoli. It's a lemon drink, lemon soda from here in Guerrero. And it's very good. And everybody here recommends to have the bolillo and the Yoli instead of Coca-Cola. So drink some Yoli. So we noticed the big bag of meat. She has all the meat prepared already with herb and just grabs a, a scoop, puts it on the grill. So a little different than the traditional suadero where it's basting in that oil and juices and then they chop it up. So a little bit different, so a little bit different taste, but very good. And a pico de gallo, I just love it here. And it's so spicy, my mouth is finally cooling down. And the yoli is excellent for the spices. My mouth is all cooled down now, but I'm still sweating. You can see I'm just dripping sweat. But yeah, this yoli is excellent. I could drink this all the time. On to the next spot. I'm pretty full, but we're gonna keep on going, seeing what else we could find. So that is it for Mercado de la Progreso. And we had some great food and drinks, great recommendations from everybody, all the locals here we spoke to. Yeah, now, even though we're full, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna get our same taxi driver to pick us up and take us to some tacos de canasta.
taxi driver took us from the Progresso Mercado and then we went way up the hill. So we're in a place I've never been before, but he recommended these tacos de canasta, los primos. And here we have our five tacos. We have chicharron, uh, frijoles, uh, queso, this is a mole, and then a beef, I guess, some kind of beef. And they have lots of different salsas to put on there. The pico de gallo. And I've just found out the pico de gallo with serrano chilies is why it's so hot. Usually it's jalapenos or green chilies. So now here in Acapulco, the pico de gallo is hot. Very spicy, so watch for that. But yeah, we're gonna dress these up and give them a try. That one's got some good flavor. I like that better than the other one. So usually in Mexico City, there's just four flavors of taco de canasta. But here they have this other kind of cheese and the mole. So very good, give it a try. So we just came from the Mercado, went back to our hotel, took a little nap, and now we're going on a yacht. <laughs> So we're going from Mercado to Yacht today and we're here in the port of Acapulco and we're right across from the Zocalo in Centro and that's where a lot of the cruises go out. Last time we took one of these cruises to the little island but yeah this one's gonna be I think a much better experience all private. So we just got onto the boat or the yacht and now we are headed for an hour driving around going to the Isla Roqueta. We are here at La Quebrada and here to see the claveristas, the cliff divers. And this is my third time to this area, but actually my first time <laughs> seeing the cliff divers. I'm always here at the wrong time of day. So uh, it's 100 pesos uh, for adults, 50 for kids, about this tall. And you gotta walk down these steps. And it's uh, pretty far down, but this great view of the cliffs and the divers. And at night, it's all lit up and they're gonna have torches, I think. So as they're diving, you can see them with the torches. So pretty cool, but we're uh, just about ready to see them. It's a little bit of a crowd here. It's 10, the 10 p.m. show, and they have shows at one o'clock, seven, eight, nine, and 10 p.m. every day. So yeah, we're gonna see them in a few minutes. And uh, finally, I think that's my 10th time to Acapulco and my first time seeing them. Up top, they have a Virgen de Guadalupe to pray to before they dive. And it's a 45 meter drop into a channel that's only seven meters wide and four meters deep. So that's very narrow and shallow. And they're diving 45 meters. Yeah, just look at the waters down there. <laughs> it looks pretty scary.
So that's it for the Clavarias. It's pretty cool. They had six guys, and oh, here's the guy right now. So they, uh, they actually, see, they came through the crowd, climbed down the cliff, then up the other cliffs, and they went one by one, except for uh, there was one set of two that went at the same time, and the last guy did the torches. They turned off all the lights, and that was really cool, and he dumped he jumped off the top, the highest one. So that guy must be the expert. <laughs> oh, also, if you want to eat at this restaurant La Perla, I think you don't have to pay the 100 pesos, but it's a pretty far view, but still have a nice meal and enjoy the claverias. So, all right, that's it for tonight. Back to the hotel and <laughs> we had such a busy day. I'm gonna sleep for a while and we'll see what we figure out tomorrow. So, all right, let's go. Uh, we're here on the crazy bus. Uh, it's 10 pesos a person. And usually they're cranking the music really loud. But today it's kind of calm and quiet. This will take us all the way down the Costera. I finally made it to the beach. We're staying here at the Fiesta Americana, right behind me. Very nice hotel, centrally located on the Costera, and it's got its own little private beach. So very nice just to come out here and walk around, and the sun's setting right now. You see the light is so nice. Uh, flew the drone a little bit. Um, yeah, we did so much this trip in only four days. We went from Mercados to some street food and nice restaurants, a yacht, and everything in between. So yeah, just always have such a great time here in Acapulco. Yeah, do yourself a favor, check out Acapulco sometime. And also the Fiesta Americana is a great option. So yeah, thanks again for watching and check out all of my other videos and my TikToks for all my food recommendations. <laughs>